Hello, I'm Gregor McIntyre of Faithly Parish Church. I was preparing for Sunday service and looking at Acts chapter 3, the story of Peter and John healing a lame man. And I was looking and thinking about the words and reading some of the learned books that uh, I lean upon. But I got stuck on three words. Three words that I had often jumped over when looking at this story. Three words that give a purpose to the story as well as a purpose to Christian living. We've been thinking about what church means on a Sunday, how it should be practised, what it means to be together as a congregation, to give God glory and also to make fellowship within our congregation. And then this Sunday I looked at this story and got stuck in three words before the healing, Peter says to the lame man, look at us. And I didn't go past that to the more obvious line of Peter saying, silver and gold, that's not something I've got, but I'll give you what I have. Look at us. The writers of the Bible books were smart. And the author, Luke, knew what he was doing. I think it's quite deliberate. We, as Christians, have to understand that people are looking at us. If they know that you are a regular churchgoer, or if the Christian faith is known to be part of your daily life, something that you do believe in and would admit to, then they're looking at you. And of course, partly what they're looking for is the mistakes. But we have to hope that we walk close enough to Jesus that when people do look at us, they see him before they see our frail and sinful life. They see him in our loving kindness, in our friendship, in our daily life as a neighbour or work colleague, as someone they sit beside on the bus who doesn't try to frighten them off, move them over onto another seat instead, but accepts the lives of others as having worthwhile value. Look at us. Look at us and then, Peter says, the words that bring healing in Jesus' name. So before you go looking for any grand action that allows you to change the life of someone else, make sure you've changed yourself. Make sure that when people look at you, there's a chance that you've prayed in the morning and brought yourself close to your Saviour. That in the afternoon, they'll be able to see that you have acted generously being patient, being respectful towards others. So when they want something more, they'll know that what you say you are is also who you show yourself to be. Peter and John healed a man in the name of Jesus. I'll be content if looking at me when somebody needs a little bit more they'll know they're getting a disciple of Jesus coming to them in love, friendship and offering that name into our company. Many blessings.